And Florida State Fire Marshal, State Chief Financial Officer, and member of the Florida Cabinet, Jimmy Petronas. Jimmy, what is the latest on the initial damage assessments you're getting? Well, the biggest concerns that we saw this is there were so many tornadoes that were not in the path of the, tor uh, of the hurricane. So you look at St. Lucie County, uh, devastated by tornadoes. The sheriff's office in St. Lucie County was destroyed. Uh, we had one tornado that touched down and literally went through a, um, a mobile home community that was retiree. So lots to be uncovered uh, this morning as sunrise breaks. We sent urban search and rescue crews straight to St. Lucie County as soon as these tornadoes touch ground. So um, lots of work is being done through the night. Yeah, what is the latest on the emergency response and uh, how much were you able to do before the sun comes up, the rest presumably after? So we pre-staged teams all over the state, Fort Myers, Miami, a lot of resources were in Orlando uh, at the Orange County Convention Center and then north in Tallahassee and then up at Camp Blanding. So a lot of these teams will be heloing in. Uh, but look, these guys are superheroes. They also have no fear. So many of these teams will still deploy out literally during the hurricane, still making landfall or in the state. They'll find pockets and they'll go out and create surveillance in order to try to have the best intel to get boots on the ground as soon as possible. This is what they do, and they do it very well. Governor DeSantis saying you have the largest National Guard mobilization in the history of the state of Florida at the ready, ready to go. Have they been able to begin any searches or rescues yet? Or again, is this one of those things in an hour when the sun comes up there in Florida, they're going to be ready to go? Yeah, it's going to be critical that sunrise comes up and we can really start to assess the scenes. Um, you know, with hurricane force winds still out, there's still a lot that you can do, but there's a lot you can't do. You can't get the aerial assets up in these type of conditions. But we uh, we also have 40,000 linemen that are staged ready to go at, at sunrise. Um, but, you know, look, this is there's a reason why they call these events disasters. And I'm, and I'm, and I'm going to ask folks, look, if you don't have to be home today, take your time. You know what, what do, you, do you want to go and rush back home where you may not have access to electricity, clean water, gas, or food? Let our first responders do their jobs. Let us get your community stabilized, and then let's make it safe for you to be able to return. Yeah, that's such a good point because the winds may be over in a few hours, but that doesn't mean the danger is over as well. You need to be cognizant of that fact and not rush back into something where you could have electrified water. You could have power lines down, a whole mess of things you could be facing when you go back into your home. I want to focus on the Atlantic coast because as you saw Janice's report, as you well know, Atlantic coast is sort of where the action is right now. Are you confident that the Atlantic coast prepared enough for the storm, especially the storm surge that they're getting right now? Those communities never prepare enough. The, the emergency manager directors, the first responders, yeah, they were prepared. Um, but the citizens, they get complacent. We get fixated on Tampa. Tampa sucked a lot of air out of the room over the past week. And so just like those poor people in St. Lucie County, nobody in that community, uh, that county would have ever dreamed that they would have been so hard hit by tornadoes. So, yeah, those, those Atlantic-based communities, um, you know, they, they got a wallop, too. Uh, as this storm cut across the state. So we're going to have a, a full, you know, month's work ahead of us. But, you know, the, the great thing about us in Florida, we, we're used to these disasters. We handle them well, and we've got the best first responders of anybody in the nation. And I'd be remiss if I'd say I didn't say thank you to the teams that came from out of state, from Massachusetts, Texas, California, Nevada, that are down here saving Floridians. Yeah, I'll echo those statements. Florida knows how to do hurricanes pretty darn well. We fully expect that if there was any state that can bounce back, especially under Governor DeSantis and your leadership team, it is the great state of Florida. It will be the sunshine state once again. Jimmy Petronas, thank you for your That's time. Right. Stay safe. Good luck with the recovery. Like you said, it's going to be an all of Florida approach because most of the state was hit.